You know what's wild? Right now, as you're listening to this, your DNA might be screaming, I'm special, and you have absolutely no idea. We're not talking about being good at math or having double-jointed thumbs. We're talking about genetic mutations so rare, so bizarre, that they sound like they're straight out of Atomic Book. Stick around because by the end of this, you might just realize you're basically a walking X-Men character. Let's get into it. Sign number three, you barely need sleep. We all know that one person, the 4 a.m. workout warrior, the I only need five hours productivity machine, the human who somehow functions on less sleep than a newborn baby. If that's you, you might have the DEC2 gene mutation, and honestly, the rest of us are jealous. People with this mutation need significantly less sleep. We're talking four to six hours a night, and they wake up feeling completely refreshed. Meanwhile, normal humans are stumbling around like extras from The Walking Dead, chugging coffee just to form sentences. Here's what's happening. The DEC2 mutation affects how your brain processes sleep. Your sleep cycles are just more efficient. You get the same rest value in less time. It's like your brain has a fast forward button. So while everyone else is deep in REM sleep, you're reorganizing your closet, learning a new language, or watching documentaries about ancient Rome at 2 a.m. Then at 6, you're out the door, fully functional, while your roommate is still drooling on their pillow. But, and this is important, don't push it. Even if your genes let you get away with less sleep, chronic deprivation can still wreck your health over time. You're not invincible, you're just more efficient. Sign number two, your bones are literally unbreakable. You trip on the sidewalk, full face plant, everyone gasps. You get up, dust yourself off, and you're fine, not even a bruise. Congratulations, you might have the LRP5 mutation, and your bones are basically made of vibranium. This mutation makes your bones insanely dense. We're talking denser than most people's hopes and dreams. Doctors who've scanned people with this mutation say their bones look like they're reinforced with steel. Even dentists get nervous drilling into their teeth. People with this mutation have survived car crashes that should have shattered bones. They've fallen from heights that would hospitalize others, and they walk away fine. It's not something you can train for. You can't drink more milk or do more squats to get this. It's written into your DNA from birth. The downside, if you do somehow break a bone, good luck. Surgeons have a nightmare trying to work with bones this dense. But honestly, that's a pretty rare problem to have when you're basically Wolverine. Sign number one, mosquitoes avoid you like you're toxic. Picture this, summer barbecue. Everyone's having a great time until the mosquitoes show up like uninvited vampires. Your friends are doing the mosquito slap dance, looking like they're fighting invisible ninjas. Arms flailing, legs twitching, pure chaos. And then there's you, just vibing. Zero bites, not even one. Your friends think you bathed in bug spray. Plot twist, you didn't. You've got the ABCC11 gene mutation, and it's basically a mosquito restraining order written into your DNA. Here's the science. Mosquitoes hunt using chemical signals your skin releases, lactic acid, ammonia, certain fatty acids. It's like a neon sign that says fresh blood here. But if you have this mutation, your body just doesn't send those signals. You're invisible, a ghost. Mosquitoes fly right past you like you don't exist. And before you ask, no, you can't bottle this and sell it, trust me, scientists have tried. But hey, at least you're saving money on bug spray and not scratching yourself raw at every outdoor event. That's a win. So as you go about your day, pay attention. Are you the one wide awake while the world sleeps? The one who bounces back from any fall? The one mysteriously immune to the summer's worst pests? These aren't just quirks, they're clues. Clues that your genetic code holds a secret, a blueprint for something extraordinary. The line between human and superhuman isn't always a cape and a mask. Sometimes it's just a tiny, powerful piece of DNA you never even knew you had. Let's continue with the next sign. Sign number four, you literally don't stink. Okay, real talk. 
We've all met that person who works out, sweats buckets, and somehow still smells like a field of lavender. Meanwhile, the rest of us step outside for five minutes and smell like a gym locker. If you're one of those magical humans, congratulations, you've won the genetic lottery. The mutation is called ABCC11, and it's doing something incredibly cool. Most people have apocrine glands that produce a protein-rich sweat. Bacteria on your skin absolutely love this stuff. They throw a party, multiply, and the byproduct? Body odor. That's right, it's not you that stinks. It's the bacteria living on you. But with this mutation, those glands barely work. No sweat means no bacteria feast, which means no stink. You're basically odor proof. Here's the kicker. If you have dry, crumbly earwax, you probably have this mutation. I know, weird flex, but it's true. Wet earwax and dry earwax are controlled by the same gene. So next time you clean your ears, you might just be confirming your superpower. And no, this doesn't mean you'll never sweat. You'll still get sweaty palms, a shiny forehead, maybe some back sweat, but your armpits, silent, odorless, legendary. Sign number three, you can't feel pain. Imagine this, you're at a winter festival, it's freezing. Everyone's bundled up, shivering, teeth chattering, and there you are in a t-shirt, eating ice cream, completely unbothered. You don't just tolerate the cold, you don't feel pain at all. This is SIPA, congenital insensitivity to pain with anhydrosis, one of the rarest mutations on earth. Stub your toe, nothing. Cut your finger, no reaction. Fall off your bike, just get up and keep going. Sounds like a superpower, right? Here's the problem. Pain is your body's alarm system. It tells you when something is wrong. Without it, injuries go unnoticed. Infections spread, bones break without you even realizing. Kids with SIPA have bitten through their own tongues because they didn't feel it. They've broken bones and kept playing. It's incredibly dangerous. And there's more. The same gene affects sweating. People with SIPA can't regulate their body temperature well. They overheat easily, which can be life-threatening. So yeah, no pain sounds cool, but in reality, it's a constant tightrope walk between feeling invincible and accidentally hurting yourself without ever knowing. Sign number two, you have a bloodhound nose. You walk into the office kitchen and immediately know someone microwaved leftover salmon two hours ago. Everyone else, I don't smell anything. Welcome to hyperosmia, the superpower nobody asked for. This is caused by mutations in genes like OR2J3, which control your olfactory receptors. Basically, your nose has more smell sensors than the average person, and your brain is a supercomputer that processes every single scent. You don't just smell coffee brewing. You detect the roast level, the region it's from, and whether they use tap water or filtered. You're not sniffing, you're analyzing. Sounds cool, right? Until you're on public transport and someone's cologne hits you like a chemical weapon. Or you walk past a dumpster and get flashbacks you didn't consent to. Perfume stores become literal torture chambers. But hey, you'd probably crush it as a sommelier, perfumer, or food critic. And you'll always know when the milk's gone bad before anyone else does. Silver linings. Sign number one, you have golden blood. You walk into a blood donation center, routine stuff, but then the staff starts whispering. Eyes go wide. Suddenly you're being treated like royalty. Turns out you have RH null blood, the rarest blood type on the planet. It's so rare, it's called golden blood. Here's why it's a big deal. RH null blood can be donated to anyone with rare RH negative blood types. You're a universal donor for some of the hardest to match patients in the world. You're literally a lifesaver. But here's the catch. You can only receive RH null blood in return. And there are only about 40 or 50 people in the entire world known to have it. So you're holding a golden ticket for others, but if you need blood, good luck. It's like being a billionaire who can only shop at one store, and that store is almost always out of stock. If you have this, blood banks will basically beg you to donate. You're a medical unicorn, a legend, the VIP of VIPs. So there you have it, 
four genetic quirks that sound like they're straight out of a comic book, from being odor-proof to having blood worth more than gold. But as we've seen, every superpower seems to come with its own form of kryptonite. These mutations show just how complex, strange, and fascinating our own DNA can be. It makes you wonder, what other secrets are hiding in our genes, just waiting to be discovered?